Alright, here we are. Here's the gutter going in right now. So we're cutting this, and then we're gonna redirect it like so. I just took this and I cut this off. Hey, might as well share with you. I'm running around right now. It's been pouring. There's standing water already all over the place. Putting out a fire. Oh, the side of Home Depot is closed. Oh, it's supposed to be working in the office today and I got one of my real estate clients. We service all of his rental properties. Uh, we do the underground, I call them French drains. They're underground gutter systems where we dig underneath the ground and we put pop-up vents so all the water goes away from the house and his lawn care guys don't hit it. It's good money, it's good, it's aesthetic to the house. One of the neighbors is bitching because the underground gutter system I installed is right on the neighbor's property line and he's getting water in his basement and he's claiming that it's because of our gutter. It's about 12 feet away from his house. That's pretty far, like 12 feet is like from here all the way to here, right? So, I'm talking unless we're having massive rainstorms. Uh, I understand hydrostatic pressure and when too much water is being pumped into the ground, it causes the soil to expand, which presses up against concrete, which isn't completely um, sealed like water will seep through but anyways they're calling me and freaking bitching I'm like I'm not going out there unless the guy is threatening to slap a fucking lawsuit I'm not going there because I'm busy working in the office and I'm not going to run and put out this fire we have jobs right in that area tomorrow I'll be there tomorrow well what I'm talking about is like managing your time and not letting people walk on you and not running around to put around put out every little tiny fire because then you won't have a life and you'll be miserable you hate your business if people walk all over you every little time something happens you run out to fix it because you're afraid you're going to get sued you know what I'm saying right but um I'm looking for a flexor spout gutter extension we were supposed to be there today but there's rainstorms today get it well you said you were going to be here today it's raining outside acts of God I don't control the weather I'm not trying to be a dick here but I'm just saying so what I'm doing I'm like ah I got a good idea I can go cut the pipe then rip it off and rip it out of the thing and then just redirect it so the customer sees, knock on the door, let them know your problem is solved, and then we'll go out next week and we'll dig a whole new line and we'll dig it another 10 feet away from the property down and out so the guy has no problem at all and nothing to bitch about. But here I gotta come run out. And I was just on the phone with my client that I'm really, really cool with for like, 10 minutes and he was explaining the situation to me because I was being kind of like you know I'm not gonna just up and run out there without a real legitimate reason then he told me he's got all this pressure on him because the client's neighbor is freaking out and what that means is you know now it's about making my client happy where are these gutter extensions huh I don't know about all that that's perforated that one's not I ain't putting that hanging eye out in the wall. All right, so here you go. Got the pipe and then the angle, the flexi pipe. We're gonna go fix this. Oh, my shoulder hurts, dude, from that combi system. And killing myself to trim trees, like from the ground. It's so heavy that, like, you're uh, like with everything you have to lift this thing and keep trimming trees because your, your clock's ticking and you're like, um... <sighs> um, you push through and do it anyways because there's a part of your brain that's telling you, you know, you're, you're a pussy, you're a pussy, you should... You know, how, how dare you, um, act like this is hard. Like, I'll rip my bones off my... I'll rip the muscles off the bone in order to prove. Cause, and, and when you're doing shit that's so physically hard, uh, the thing that I think is like, you know, there's nobody that would work for me that would be willing to go through this excruciating pain of climbing up a 16 foot arborist ladder to trim a tree that's 24 feet high for 14 bucks an hour. They're just not willing to go through that hell and do it. All right, we got this all hooked up now. And so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna cut back to here and we're gonna reroute with an elbow, yeah. then bring it and wrap it. Probably actually just put the drain here, is this better? Yeah, if you take it straight out 10 feet or something, drop it, I don't care if it's ever. Straight out to here? That's fine with me, man, whatever you use it. As long as farther away from the house, the better, man. 
Okay. I'll go a full 10 feet all the way out and just reroute it to here. Cool. Okay, so that one's fixed now over here. Yeah, I'll just slam it up there and put a screw in it. Oh yeah. Nope. That's if you push really hard, it'll dig. That's too sharp. A bit. Come on, baby. I got it started now, so we should be good to go. Cool. That's interesting. I get here and I was like, you know, like, let me fix this real quick. What's going on? And then all of a sudden the guy was like really super nice and positive and joking around with me. But over the phone they were saying that the guy was like very upset. So I think it's maybe because he felt helpless to the situation. But I knew how to fix it real quick. Whatever, he's happy now. He's like, hey, maybe I'll have you do all those gutter things to my house. That's pretty cool. That looks nice and clean. But he's saying that that shit was running into his basement. Um, I don't know, dude. I'm not, a, I'm not a basement waterproofing expert specialist. So I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. He's not pissed anymore. He's happy. We'll be back next week to reroute that whole thing totally away. There you go. And then all the houses we've done, these two, those are literally the closest. And he was asking, why is the water sitting there? Doesn't that freeze and crack the pipe in the winter? I'm like, no, we don't have a problem with any of that. All the new ones we're doing, we actually put three cuts in the bottom and lap, wrap it in landscape fabric and then put crushed concrete in the bottom so it can drain out, the excess water can drain out, but otherwise I've never had a problem with any of them. Oh yes, the water does just sit there, but um, whenever it rains, all the water's just being pumped out anyways, and then it's just sitting there till the next time it rains. I do understand it's a legitimate thing, so I'll just tack on 10 bucks to the price of each one, which I, which I have done, I raised the price, and now it's can, the residual water can drain out the bottom. Makes sense? All right, problem solved. What's up? I hope you enjoyed this video. You can see at certain parts in the video I'm rationalizing and justifying things. And I believe it's really walk a mile, see a mile. Okay, so if I would have went to college to become a landscape architect and a civil engineer and become certified in all these different things, uh, I would have died of starvation. I'm not making that up. I'm not rationalizing that. The world we live in is very gray hat and rogue. Obviously, don't do shit that's going to put anybody else in danger, hurt anybody, and nobody talks about this. <laughs> of course, I didn't know how to fucking clean windows the first time I went in somebody's house. I wasn't even insured to do it. I went in somebody's house, and I went in a ladder next to the grand piano, and I had no idea what I was doing, nervous, and I was dropping water down the walls, and I learned quick and got insured, right? You get my drift. Okay, if you like this video, um, please like, share, and subscribe. My other channel is called I Am Ability Deep Stuff. And I got an exclusive window cleaning channel called the Window Cleaning Blueprint. Okay, click the link in the description below. Check out my other stuff. And uh, get on my email list on landscapingemployetrap.com so we can stay in communication outside of YouTube. Thank you. Later.